Greetings in the victorious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Onela Sikobelana. And if you are here for the very first time, then please feel welcome and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also set the notification bell. It is Tuesday morning and it is our day two of our fasting and praying. And we thank God for what he had done for us yesterday. We thank God for the new thing that he has done in our spiritual lives. We thank God for what he has done in our with our personal struggles, the things that we have been struggling with, the things that have been a stronghold in our lives. We thank God that he has changed them and he has dissolved each and every mountain, each and every stronghold that is in our hearts, that is in our lives. And we also thank God for our visions, for our ministries. Today it is day two. It is the 18th of January 2022. And today we are praying for employment in the workplace. We are praying for school in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For metric results, we are praying for, for varsity applications in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I have received a prayer point and we will do just like we did yesterday we will look at every a prayer point and we will pray accordingly and i will give you scriptures and i'll also post them on my uh description box so if you are unable to jot them down you can just go and check them on my description box in the name of our lord jesus christ so I received the DMs and uh, I want to pray together with these people that there are people who are submitting CVs. I don't know who you are. I don't know if you are the one who sent me a DM, but I believe that you have been, you are submitting CVs at different places. You are looking for employment and we'll pray together with you that God may do a turnaround that this time around, when you submit your CV, you submit it with a different perspective. When you submit your CV, your resume, you submit it with an understanding. You submit it with greater hope, not just a hope of being employed, but a greater hope of knowing that all your things are going to be sorted and not only be sorted by you, but they will be sorted by God. We'll also be praying for people who've graduated. I know in South Africa, this is, is it has become a norm that people would go to, to varsity, obtain a qualification, and then go back and stay at home, at home because there's, there's no jobs for that particular qualification. But we are going to pray for that. For the graduates who went to graduate to get that qualification but still are unemployed, but still they are still at home, not getting any employment. Some, they are told that, no, you are too, you are overqualified. And some are even told that, no, you, you don't have experience. You don't have this. You don't have that. We, some are expected to have certain things, yet they are just coming out fresh from varsity. We will be praying to God that may God shift things around. May God turn things around. May God uh, change their hearts, change their minds. The people who are receiving your, 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 your resumes and CVs, may their minds be renewed. May, they, may their hearts be renewed. Though they knew that you do not qualify, but may heavens qualify you. May heaven set you to be the suitable candidate. May heaven change things around just for you. Because that is what God has promised us in this season. That I as the Lord, I am willing to go all out for you. I am willing to turn things around for you. So may as you submit as a graduate, may as you submit your resume in any kind of job that is suitable for you, in any kind of job that you have applied for, may the good Lord open those doors. May the the good Lord favor you. May the good Lord turn things around that when they come across your, your application, they may say there's something about her. We know she, she does not qualify. We know he does not qualify. But Lord, we are willing to take the risk. We want to take the risk with her. She will, if it means she will learn on the job, then let her learn on the job. But we are willing to take risks when it comes to this one. We are praying for people who are going to interviews today, people who are going to interviews this week. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, sometimes, you know, when we have to go to interviews, no matter how articulate you are, but sometimes you would get it in before the people who are interviewing you and you begin to run out of words to say, you begin to, 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 to panic, you begin to shake, you begin to shut down, you do not know what to say. But I pray that God will turn your way, will turn things around even 
for you. I pray that God may favor you. His blood may cover you. You, he may be on your tongue that all you have to do is just wake up and dress up and, and be present at that interview and the rest will be up to God. I pray, I will pray for you and I will pray together with you that as you enter that door, they may know that this is the person that we want. That as you enter that door, may you not be intimidated, but may you intimidate them. May you, when you enter that door, may you not feel threatened, but may you be a threat to them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hulama Shakayanda. We also will be praying for, for, for situations in the workplace. You know, um, some are already in the workplace and they're saying, look, Onela, we are sorted, we have the jobs, but the problem is, the problem is that Things are not going well. I'm being exploited. They are plotting against me. They are doing schemes against me. I spend most of my time in the workplace, but I'm not happy. I spend most of the time in the workplace, but I don't feel secure. I spend most of my time in the workplace, but it is the worst place that I want to be at. We are going to pray for that. We are going to pray and, and, and remove that spirit and remove and destroy whatever plans and plots that they are orchestrating uh, against you in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that they are planning against you, it will not come to pass because the word of God says no weapon that is fashioned against us, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. They will form these weapons against you. They will scheme against you. They will plot against you. When you get to the workplace, you will get them You will get to them speaking about you. You will get to them plotting things against you. You will get to them not wanting to associate yourself, their self with you because for some reason you are you, they don't like you there's something that is offish about you we are going to pray that may God intervene even in those situations may he intervene may he be God May he show himself in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will pray for the peace of the Lord that surpasses all knowledge, all understanding, that wherever place that you are working in, may the good Lord intervene. May the good Lord be in that place. May your working space, your office, your whatever space that you work in, may it be filled with Christ in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will surround it with the fire of the Holy Ghost. We will surround it that whatever they think of plan, in your workplace, what, what place, whatever they think of plotting in and put it in your workplace, it will not come to pass because that place will be surrounded with fire. We will decorate your office with fire. We will decorate your workplace with fire. And I want you to be intentional as we decorate your workplace, as we decorate your office, as you, we are praying, mention the place that you are working at. Whatever place that you are working at, when we are praying against that situation that is troubling you at work, mention it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will also be praying um, for those people who have been retrenched, for those people who have been suspended, for those people who, who, who lost their, their who, whose contracts have ended. We are going to pray and ask God that God who is able to renew contracts, God who is able to give those jobs who have been retrenched new jobs, God who is able to sort out and be our advocate in cases where we have been suspended, intervene again. We are going to call upon the great father. We are going to call upon the great advocate that he may begin to stand on our behalf, that he may begin to fight for us, that he may begin to go before us, that we may begin to, 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 to win even this case. You may be suspended, suspended and failing. There's a court, there's a case that is at the court that has your name on it. May the good Lord intervene on your behalf. May he fight for you. May you win this case. Yes, you have lost your job because I know so many people were retrenched in 2021, in 2020. But may the good Lord open a new door of a job for you. May you not lack. May this retrenchment, oh Father, be filled with God that even those that are retrenched with you who are feeling pain. May you not feel pain. May it not trouble you. May you stand firm and know that God is working things and is not just working things, but is working them in your favor. May this retrenchment work out in your favor in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May he change things around. Though they have retrenched you, but they may, may you find yourself receiving calls telling you that no, we made a mistake. 
telling you that no, that there has been a misunderstanding in the name of our Lord. May things turn, turn around. May things change. May they take a big 360 turn in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ because God promised us and said he is turning things around. Things are going to turn around. Things are going to change. In your workplace, things are going to change. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the salary that you are earning, things are going to change. I remember one, someone, one person sent me a DM saying, uh, I've been receiving the same salary since 2019. We are going to call upon the great father, the one whom, who gold and silver belongs to. And we are going to call upon him and ask that God, may you Increase salaries. May you give your children and your bonuses in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your children will not work and work and work very hard, spending so much time in the workplace, spending so much time toiling and only to receive money that will still stress them at the end of the month. Because I know that some, when you go to, when, when it's the month end, you begin to be frustrated. I remember someone said, I have all my peace throughout the month. Come the date where I'm supposed to get my salary. I become frustrated because now I have to be paying this and that. And sometimes even the money that I, I earn, I would not even be able to pay all the debts that I had. I will not even be able to take care of myself. By the time the month end comes again, I'm still in other debts that I had to make because even my salary is not enough. Heavenly Lord, we are going to pray to that father. We are going to pray to God that he may change even the amount of money that you are earning. We are going to pray for favor. We are going to pray for recognition in the workplace. You are not going to spend your time not sleeping sometimes doing the work only for you to be unrecognized, only for you not to be promoted. We are going to call upon the God who recognizes. May they recognize you. May they notice you in your workplace. May you be favored Favored, favored going in, favored going out. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to pray also for the metric results. The class of 2021. You have been studying. You wrote your, uh, you studied during a pandemic. You wrote your exams during a pandemic. And may the good Lord remember all your hard work. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for good results, for productive results. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for distinctions. May your results be the kind of results that even adversity, they will say, yes, we are full, but there's no way we are not accepting this one. When you, when, when you apply for funding, they will say, yes, we, we don't have any funding available, but for this one, we are willing to make an exception. For this one, we are willing to, 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 to break all protocol. For this one, we are willing to do it. May God break protocols for you. May God change things around for you in your metric results in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know that um, in South Africa, in order for you to progress, to get your qualification, in order for you to do a, the course that you want to do, in order for you to be recognized in South Africa, you need to have a metric certificate. That is, that is the, 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 the determining line, that is the determining factor whether you will make it in life or not. And I am praying praying against every factor that is fighting against you making it. I am praying against every factor that is fighting you not making it to, 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 to your metric, to, to getting your metric certificate, to getting your distinctions. I am praying against every factor. May you pass with good results. We are speaking good results. We are praying for good results in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The children of God will not panic. They will not be frustrated. And no child will, 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 will want to commit suicide because they have not performed as they thought they would. Lord, we are going to pray. We are going to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are praying for those who have applied in varsity. 
and are waiting for results. Some are being put in the waiting list. Some are being told that they were rejected. May they turn things around for you. May they say, though we have rejected her, but though we have rejected him, but in fact, we think we can squeeze in one more person. May they squeeze you in, in that university that you were applying at. May they squeeze you in, in those honors and master's degree that you were applying for. May they squeeze you in at UWC. May they squeeze you in at UJ. May they squeeze you in at VITS, whatever university, whatever college that you are applying for at. We're going to pray that they may squeeze you in. Pray for, we're going to pray for academic results. I know that some, um, they are doing their courses, their qualifications, and they are awaiting results. We're going to pray that may God give you good results, the good results that are, go are for you, the good results that you have worked for. And some, they are unable to get their results because they are still owing monies to the schools. They are still owing monies and they are unable to get their results. But we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. May God open a new door of funding. If where, if how, I don't know. We do not need to know. But all we need to know is that God will open a new door of funding. May God bring you money to go pay at school. May God give you so much money that you are able to go and pay your debt and be debt free that you are able to get your results. We are praying for those who have applied for bursaries, for NSFAS, Heavenly Lord. We are going to pray for them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We'll be reading in the book of Proverbs, the first scripture. It's in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and the verses 1 to 6. Hulama shakayanda basekerebe shanda. Libro kosoto yondonoro shatayanda. The Bible says, good friend, don't forget all I have taught you. Take to heart my commands. They will help you live a long, long time, a long life, fooled, lived full and well. And it continues to say, don't lose your grip on love and loyalty. Tie them around your neck. Carve their initials on your heart. And I love this verse. In this verse, it says, earn a reputation for living well in God's eyes and in the eyes of people. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do and everywhere you go. He is the one who will keep you on track. It says... And a reputation for living well. I'm repeating this verse again. And a reputation for living well in God's eyes and in the eyes of the people. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen to God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go. He's the one who will keep you on track. Don't assume that you know it all, but run to God. I love this other version. It says on this verse, I think this is, it's on verse 5. This other version, it says on verse 5 that uh, may you find favor with God and may you find favor with people. All we are praying for that in our schools, in our workplaces, in our results, in our finances, may God favor us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, on verse and verse five, may we on verse five, may we trust God with all our heart. May we trust Him from the bottom of our heart. May we not try to figure out everything on our own. Yes, you may not know when they will call you and say we have accepted you. We are calling you for an interview. You do not know when they will say after that interview that you are the suitable candidate. You do not know when your promotion will come. You do not know when and how they will renew your contract because it has expired. You do not know how you will be called back after being retrenched. You do not know how they will increase your salary because you know that you do not really qualify for this job. You are underqualified. Therefore, you will take whatever amount of money that you are being given. You do not know how. You don't know how you will begin to get distinctions when you wrote your exams going through a lot. When you wrote your exams being frustrated. When you lost your 
and when you wrote your exams and losing people you knew of losing people who are close to your heart you do not know how the, the university that has sent you a letter rejecting you will accept you you do not know how but the bible says let us trust god from the bottom of our heart and let us not try and figure out things on our own it says in this other version lean on god trust god with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding you don't need to understand how will it happen when will it happen why will it happen but you need to trust god and you need to not figure it out on your own you need to listen to him for he will keep you on track he says he will favor you you will find favor with god and not just only favor with god but also favor with men So what it means to find favor with men that wherever you go people will just fall in love with you people will love you you will be favored even when when it's a time for thing for for, for applications to be closed when it's time for people to be rejected you shall not be rejected you shall not be disappointed you shall not be be told that we have closed you will find favor even in those very small things in the office in the workplace you will find favor you will find favor with your bosses you will find favor with your colleagues you will find favor with the securities the people who are cleaning in the offices you will even find favor with them that when they come near you they say some there's something about you and you will begin to say it's not me but it is the one whom i serve may you find favor with god and may you find favor with men may you not be a nuisance may you not be the one who annoys them but may you be the one they want to associate themselves with may you be the one they learn from may you be the one who is a whole saba well may you be the one who they want to be like and may you model the life of christ and may you know that it is not your doing it is not you but it is the one who is inside of you for greater is he who is in us than the one who is in the world the one who is in us he makes us better he makes us to dine with kings he makes us to step into places that we never thought that we would step into may he make you great may he favor you in the name of our lord jesus christ i pray that you may trust god with all your heart I pray that you may not try to figure it out. I know it, it I know there's no hope. I know it's not promising. I know what I'm even saying does not make sense, but listen my sister, listen my brother, it does not have to make sense to you. Because the shift is not happening in the physical, but the shift is happening in the in the spiritual. It does not need to make sense in the physical, but it sure does make sense in the spiritual. May God now help you to tap into it in the spiritual that it may begin to manifest in the physical. Hula mashaka yanda. Hila manda raboshe kedebe shanda. We are praying oh father. Praying oh God. in the name of Jesus may God change things around for you in your workplace may you get your bonuses may you have good benefits in your workplace may your contract work in your favor may you sign a contract that works in your favor that has the do's and don'ts that you approve of that you want that you see suitable for you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we are reading our next scripture Hula mashaka yanda baseke debe shanda libroko soto doru yala bo shanda We are reading 1st Kings the chapter is 18 Hina maya la bo sheke debe shanda libraka sata yanda babo sheke himanda yala baba babo shanda God is going to change things around things are going to work in your favor and all victory will belong to all, all the victory will belong to God all the glory will go back to God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and they shall know your God and they shall know that he's a God who lives and they shall know that he rules and reigns and they shall know that everything belongs to him and whatever as his children want we shall have it for we have inherited everything that is of our fathers If you want in, 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 in salary increases we shall have them. If we want jobs we shall have them. If we want any school that we want to be enrolled at we shall be enrolled at it because even those schools, even those jobs, even that money it belongs to our father. Kobalelika Yehova hlabathi nenza seko yalo. 
We are reading on 1 Kings, the chapter is 18. And we are starting from verse 36. It says, when it was time for the sacrifice to be ordered, Elijah the prophet came up and prayed, O God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, make it known right now that you are God in Israel, that I am your servant, and that I'm doing what I'm doing under your orders. Answer me, God. Oh, answer me and reveal to these people that you are God, the true God, and that you are giving these people another chance to repent. On verse 38, it says, Immediately the fire of God, it fell and burned up the offering, the wood, the stones, the dead, and even the water in the trench. Verse 39, it says, All the people saw it happen and fell on their faces in awed worship, exclaiming, God is the true God. God is the true God. Elijah told them, Grab the Baal prophets. Don't let them go away. They grabbed them. Elijah had had them taken down to the brook Kishon and they massacred the lot. But I love this verse. Verse 41, it says, Elijah said to Ahab, up on your feet, eat and drink, celebrate. Rain is on the way. I hear it coming. Verse 42, Ahab did it. He got up and ate and drank. Meanwhile, Elijah climbed to the top of the camel, of the, of the camel, bowed deeply in prayer, his face between his knees. Then he said to his young servant, on your feet now look towards the sea he went he looked and reported back and the servant said I don't see a thing but Elijah said keep looking if it means seven times do it seven times and sure enough the seventh time he said oh yes a cloud but very small no bigger than someone's hand rising out of the sea Quickly then go on and tell the Ahab, settle up and get down from the mountain before the rain stops. I want to tell you that God is going to answer you. I want to tell you that the people who have been plotting against you, the people who have given you retrenchment letters and contracts, the people who have told you the bad news that your contract has ended, the people who have making, been making sure that you do not enjoy yourself in the workplace, the people who, have, who are busy investigating your case because you have been suspended, the people whom you wrote your exams with, the people whom you applied with, the people whom you applied uh, your bursaries to the people whom you are submitting your sievers with they will begin to say his God is real her God is real God is the true God. They will begin to say, God is the true God. They will begin to know your God. Your God will be known. It shall be known that there is a God who is real and alive in your life. They will know that there is a God who is alive and real in your family. They will know in the workplace that there is a God in Israel. There is a God in that high school. There is a God in in that varsity. There is a God in that workplace. There is a God who is in Israel. There is a God, the very same God that Elijah called upon when the the prophets of Baal were having a, a competing session with Elijah, competing to see which God is greater. When they began to call upon their God, he did not respond. But when Elijah began to call upon his God, his God started to respond. The Bible says immediately the fire of God, it fell on the bent up offering. Yes, they may have given you wood because it says it fell on the wood, the stones, the dead, and even the trench in the water. Because what they did, Elijah instructed them and said, look, take water, pour on this wood, pour on this trench, pour on these stones, pour, let it be dead, let it be untidy, mess it up. Because he knew that his God specializes with a mess. He knew that his God specializes with the things that have been, we have written them over. He knew that his God specializes with them. They may have given you a retrenchment letter, but God is going to specialize and change things around for you. They may have declined you and not accepted you for that application job that you went to, but God specializes with such in, in, in situations. 
He will turn things around for you. He will begin to appear in your life. He will begin to appear in that way, place that you went for an interview at. He will begin to appear in that place where you submitted your CV. In that place where there's exploitation. In that place where they are plotting against you. In that place where they are gossiping about you. In that place where they are scheming about you. That very place where they are discussing you and saying, we will see if she will pass. We will see if he will pass this metric. That place where they are busy orchestrating weapons to distract you that you may not pass metric. You will pass your metric and you will not just pass, but you will pass with flying colors because your God shall appear. He appeared for Elijah because he's not a God who will disappoint us. He's not a God who disappoints and he will not begin to disappoint the person with you. I love it when Elijah said, up on your feet, eat and drink, celebrate because rain is on the way. I've come to announce to you that rain is on the way. The rain is on the way. Rain of a new job is on the way. Rain of that job you went to an interview for is on the way. Rain of a renewal of contract is on the way. Rain of, of, of being retrenched. Things are about to change and you will get your job back and you will get a new job back. A new job. Rain is on its way. I've come to announce that in that dry working condition, in that dry working environment, God is about to bring rain. God is about to bring rain of money. God is about to bring rain of funding. God is about to bring rain of acceptance letters. You have been waiting. You're the universities you applied at, they have not responded to you, but rain is on its way. I've come to announce that rain is on its way in your life. Rain is on its way. For those results that you are waiting upon, rain is on its way. The rain of the Lord will begin to fall upon those results, will begin to fall upon the debt that you have. Rain of finances. The book of Corinthians says that there are many open doors, but the adversaries are many. We are going to pray. That is 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. We are going to pray against those adversaries in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are going to pray and we are going to cancel them out. You will not submit your CVs only for them to be ignored. You will not submit your CVs only for them to be torn and thrown in the bin. You will not submit your CVs only for people who, who know people will only be accepted in that job. You will not. You will not. You will not. You will not work very hard only for you not to be promoted. Reign of promotion is coming in the name of Jesus. Reign of favor. I know some of you in the workplace you are working and working and they are not recognizing you. You are doing all the work but for some reason someone from somewhere will just come in and all the credit will be given to that person. No one is recognizing you. We are going to pray to God. God of Israel. God of Jacob. God of Abraham we come to you oh father we know you oh God that you are able and just we come to you oh father faithful and wonderful counselor the one who has a track record of being faithful the one who has a track record of starting and finishing the one who has a track record of rescuing the one who is able to intervene and change things around we know that oh father you specialize with such issues you say there is a great door there are many doors that are open for us doors for funding doors for bursaries doors oh God for jobs doors oh father for good metric results doors for distinctions doors for, for, for salary increase in increment doors oh God for bonuses doors for benefits oh father Doors for promotions, oh God. Doors for renewal, renewal of, of contracts, oh God. We know there are, those are the doors. But we are very aware 
Limonto Yabashakaya, that the enemy is at war, that the enemy is fighting. You say they are great adversaries, but our Father, today and right now, we are being sensitive to the word of God. We are being sensitive to what you have shown us, to what you have said, oh Father, to what the Bible said. The Bible says, Elijah, he began to instruct this man and said, be up on your feet, eat. We have eaten, oh God, for a very long time. We have drank, and right now, we are at a point of not eating and drinking, but we have our feet in between our legs, in between our knees, and we are praying, oh God. We are praying, oh Father. You are announcing a new rain. May we see that rain, oh God. You are saying, oh Father, there is a rain that is on the way. Let the rain begin to fall upon us, oh God. Let the rain begin to fall upon our unemployment status. Let the rain begin to fall in our workplaces. Let the rain begin to fall in our education, in our academics, in our results, oh God. Change things around. Break all protocols, oh God. Change, maneuver things for us. You said you are willing to go all out for us. Go all out, oh Father. In Vula Mayine, Mayine, Mayine. Libro Koshata Yababa Osanda. Let the rain fall. Let the rain fall. May after the, the seven days fast, oh God, may we begin to say, um, this is my day one at work. May we begin to say, this is my day one in being permanent. May we begin to say, this is my day one in my new course. May we begin to say, this is my day one. This is my day one, oh God. My day one. Of no longer being a high school student, but oh father, my day one, my day one of being a student who passed a metric with distinctions. This is my day one of varsity. This is my day one. You have announced it that there is a rain. to Elijah. No, 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 no. Go and look again. If it means we are going to go around seven times, we will go seven times around, oh Father, up until we see the rain. If it means we are going to pray for seven days, we will pray for seven days up until we see the rain. Oh Father, we will pray, oh God, up until we are like that man in the Bible. He goes around seven times praying up until he says, oh God, oh I see a cloud. Yes, oh God, we will pray up until we see a cloud. Normally leave let this rain fall. Let this rain come. May it come so heavily upon us. We are praying for those jobs. Those jobs, oh Father, with good salaries. Those jobs, oh God, that will not be an inconvenience. Those jobs of God with the good benefits. That our unemployment status may begin to change. You have announced the rain. Let it rain, oh God. We are not stopping up until we see the rain. We are not stopping up until we see the rain. We are not stopping up until we see the rain. We are not stopping up until we see the rain. May it rain. Hula Mashaka. Mayine. 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 Hirebe Shakaya. Hula Mataya Lababosa. Let the rain come, oh God. Mayine. 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 Hula Mashakaya Bababosanda. We pray for a new rain. We pray for a new rain. We pray for favor. Favor. May favor be your portion. May favor. Favor us, O oh God. Favor us, O oh Father. When we appear, they may begin to say, there is something about that one. We are praying for your favor. 
We are praying for your favor. If favor yako, if favor yako, we are praying for favor and recognition. May they favor us. May they favor, 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 favor shall be our portion. Favor shall be our portion. Hula masata yada masa. May favor be our portion, oh God. May we be favored going in and favored going up. May we be favored. May we be favored. May we be recognized. We have been doing things for people and we have not been recognized. But we are praying, oh God, that may you favor us. Favor us. Favor us. Favor us. Marabosha kandayande. Lebreke satayanda. Mukalabosha. Helebe satayanda. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sugnugu zugo. Sugnugu mbeko. Wena wetu ngutiko. Shele salu ensako sobu kosi. Umisabu isenabelo senya uzako. Huya zuki sega. Huya baba zega. All glory belongs to you. All honor belongs to you. For you alone you are God. You are worthy to be lifted up. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be magnified. As we start this day. As we start our day too. May we start it with an understanding. That we are trusted. Trusting on God. May we start it, oh God, fully trusting on you, not leaning on our own understanding, but in all our ways, acknowledging you, oh Father. May we start it knowing that you are going to change things. You say we do not need to figure out them on ourselves. We do not need to figure out anything. May we start today not having any, oh Lama Shakayana, not having any stress of figuring things out. Not being frustrated of how will I get this job? When will I get this job? How will I get this job? For you say you are taking care of everything. Libro kashata yanda, lebeke shika yanda, haya daba shakere besa, limondo yola bashe, handa daba babosha, niyeke la baba sata, hunda daba sa, hele bebe shika yanda, himanda ya baba bosha na, iba natingo siam even on this day. Be with us, O Father. Be with us, O God. Be with us, O Father, as we destroy, O God. Each and every stronghold as we destroy, oh Father, each and every plot and plan of the evil one with our lives. As we destroy them, oh Father, be with us, oh God. And our fasting on this day, we know that, oh Father, there will be many temptations. As, oh Father, we know that even there are so many adversaries that are, up, uh, are before those open doors that are for us, oh God. But, oh God, all we want to do today is be submissive to your word, be sensitive to your spirit in the name name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that our oh Father, as we fast again today, help us, O oh God. We are aware, O oh Father, that we are bound to have headaches. We are aware, O oh God, that we will begin to feel tired. We will begin to be tempted. We will begin to want this and that. But, O oh Father, we will not bow. We will not succumb. We are aware of the enemy and his schemes. We will not bow. We will not bow. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us today, Ngosiam. Help us. Help us today, Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us. May we fast successfully. May we not be tempted. May we fast fully. We have completed our day one successfully. And we are seeing the change in our lives. And may we even today fast successfully. And may we see the change in our lives. May you maneuver and change things on our behalf. We are, we are humbling ourselves to you. We are bowing before you. We are coming to you, oh Father. Because you have promised us heavenly love. Lord, that there is a door that you have opened. You say in the book of, of Revelation 3, verse 7, that there is an open door that no one will shut. Kosiam, may we not see the door, but be unable to enter into it. May we see the door, and may we be able to walk into that door. May we walk into our new jobs. May we walk into our new promotions. May we walk into our positions, oh God. And as we walk into them, enable us, oh Father. We do not want to walk into them and then underperform and then not cope. May we not, oh Father, doubt ourselves that we are good enough for them, oh God. May we not panic, oh Father. May we not sabotage ourselves in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May we know that those are the floods that we cried out for. May you pour out them. May you pour them out to us, oh Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
You say, oh Father, this is the kind of fast that is to get rid of exploitation in the workplace and to cancel our debts and to free those who are oppressed and to break the chains of injustice. Some went to school and were told, uh, and, and it was said that they will study and study, but they will never work. They will never get to, what, to the job that they studied for. Lord, we are breaking that injustice right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Some, oh God, they are being oppressed in the workplace. They are being oppressed at school, in their families, in their surroundings. Heavenly Father, we are setting them free. They shall be favored and recognized, and the results shall work in their favor. The answers shall work in their favor. Their prayers shall be answered. Their debts at schools shall be cancelled because you say this is the kind of fuss that you are after. The one that cancels debts, hula mashakayanda, cancel those debts, oh God. Cancel those debts, oh Father. In the name of Jesus, hula mashakayababoshanda. Libroko satayana boshekelebe. Renew our strength even on this day. Renew our strength, oh God. You know how, how tired I, I felt. You know how exhausted I felt. But renew. I know it's not me only, but renew our strength even on this day. Renew. May we feel renewed. May people, when they last saw us, see us that, oh, she did not have strength. She was tired. But the next day they see us. They see us ring, being refreshed, being renewed. Refresh and renew us, oh Father. Refresh and renew us. Renew us, oh God. Renew even our mind how our minds work in this process of awaiting the, ra the rain, in this process of entering into these new doors, may even our minds be transformed, may even our minds be changed, oh Father, because sometimes these things, they happen in the, in the spiritual, but oh, because our minds are so stubborn, our minds will say, yes, it has happened in the spiritual, but when is it happening in the physical? Why is it not happening in the physical? How is it going to happen in the physical? And that is where you you say let us trust you from the bottom of our heart and let us not try to figure out everything let us not lean on our own understanding but in all our ways let us acknowledge you we acknowledge you that you are God we acknowledge you we acknowledge you father we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor you alone you are God we thank you, Lord. We thank you for our day too. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, O oh Father, that we are going to be changed and we shall receive good results in the name of Jesus. We bless your name. We give you all glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this is how we are going to start our day too. We are going to start our day to reminding God of what he said in the book of Isaiah 58. He said that the kind of fast that we are partaking in, the kind of fast that he as God is after, is to break the chains of injustice, is the, the kind of fast to get rid of exploitation in the workplace, to free the oppressed, that is Isaiah 58 verse 6 to 9, to cancel our debts. May God uh, uh, meet us at our point of need. May he change things around. May he answer us because he says when we pray he will answer and when we call out for help he will begin to say here I am. May he be present because he's a present help in times of need. May he be present in our unemployment. May he be present in our debts. May he be present in our unpleasant situations at our workplaces. May he be pre pre present in our panic for our results and in our academic record May, in our uh, uh, progress. May he be present. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, have a good day and may the good Lord bless you and may he keep you and, in strength and strengthen you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And please do share this prayer with someone who is looking for a job, with someone who has been retrenched, with someone who is going for an interview, with someone who has graduated but is looking for a job. May you share this prayer with them. May you share it with someone who is longing for a promotion, for someone who is working on a contract base and is praying 
praying that their contracts may be renewed, shared with that person, shared with that matriculant who is waiting for their matric results, shared with that person who has just completed their qualification, but they are waiting their results, with that person who is frustrated because they cannot get their results because they are still owing to that school, shared with that person, that person who is not coping at work because the workload is too much, shared with that person, tell them there's a new rain, there's, there's rain, there's rain that is coming, shared with them, may they see and experience the cloud, even if it's a small cloud, but may they see it and experience and see the rain that the Lord is announcing. Today, the Lord is announcing this season, the Lord that is announced that he is announcing in 2022 in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We acknowledge you that you are God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day. And I love you so much. And I will definitely see you tonight at 12 a.m. We are praying, remember, on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. And then you set the notification bell so that when we go live tonight, you are live. And we are going to end the day. And just like yesterday, we ended on a very high note. God gave us a word. And I know and I believe he will give us a new word even for tonight. That how will we end this day? Now that he's announced the rain, what is he saying? That is how we will end the day. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless you, bless you, and I love you so much. Oh, my Jesus.